Hi Taurus, this is Shah and this is your reading for the, um, uh, what you call it, for the week of the 9th to the 15th of August and I hope you're enjoying the shorts as well and if you're not here but you're watching it in another country on your mobile device then I hope you're having a nice time. Thank you very much Taurus for all your likes and shares. I did check the cards before I came on because I wanted to clear out the energy of the last reading and I do of course meditations before I start and I take time out between each reading so I definitely know that the energy has gone and you come in with the seven of wands and then we have the knight of wands upside down and the knight of wands came out earlier and we've got the high priestess and we've got the king of swords Wow, <laughs> that means there could be legalities. And every single reading that I've done up to now has something to do with the legal system or the justice system or municipalities. And you've got the Ten of Cups, so that's the overall energy. Wow, that's a totally different cup of tea, but still the legal system is here. Okay. Some people might be getting uh, returns back from the tax office. Usually you have to, uh, by the end of April, you have to have done your tax return and your, you might be receiving money back from municipalities. Who knows? Again, the emperor this is the third time that that one's come out. The two of ones, and I did shake them. And you have the star. You also have the um, uh, seven, six of ones and underneath the deck you have the two of swords okay so you might feel closed off or you are shutting yourself off i hope the sound is better you will hear background noise because i'm using a microphone now um so uh yeah i'm glad i don't have to wear the earphones um and, but that does condense more. So sorry for the background noise. Okay. So the overall energy is ultimate happiness, reunion with family and friends, moving home, expansion of family or the home, an ending to emotional difficulties, a new beginning, emotionally very, very happy time. You're nearly on cloud 11. I think you will be on cloud 11 so long you open yourself up. The two means for me, balancing, partnering up. But you have to open your heart, your solar plex and your mind and also take that blindfold off. And when you do, don't just look in front of you. Be aware of what is happening around you. Now, if you do that, then you'll be fine. Then you'll be absolutely aesthetic. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. So you, if you open up your heart and you're not hooked up, then you might see, you might bump into somebody and see somebody how wonderful they are. Now, they can be a Gemini. Okay. Like also, they can be a Pisces or a Cancer. They could also be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, again, Aries is here. The star is an Aquarius. And those are your characters this week in your reading. And I hope you like the shorts that I do every day. I have also started on TikTok. So if you don't find the shorts um, on YouTube, you can find them on TikTok. Please like and share on all characters channels thank you also we've got the king of swords like i said that's a gemini he's a man of position he cuts straight through to the core like the queen of swords to get rid of bs he wants transparency he wants uh, honesty he wants to fight on your behalf he will defend you through thick and thin if he's a partner okay so you, this could also represent a legal person, a professional person that you seek advice from to get clarity. He might be uh, a presenter. You might start a job 
as the king of sorts, like a teacher, a pre presenter, a writing a book, doing vlogs or blogs. You have your emotions under control, but don't make, make sure you don't cut yourself off. Okay, keep your emotions under control. But don't shut yourself off. He, look at him. He's looking through his feathers. He's keeping an eye on everything. He wants to know. He's always gaining knowledge. He knows the letter of the law so that he can be precise in um, if he needs to be in giving advice. Usually you find them also as judges, lawyers, as he also work could be working for a municipality or an institution like a hospital surgeon anybody that cuts um hairdresser okay you have victory though he will bring you victory and the good or the right advice if it isn't your partner or prospective partner um you will have victory you will win their heart You've got the six of wands, which means victory, the champion. You are a champion. You're going on to the next level. This could be with a Gemini or an air sign because Aquarius is next to it. But I always say, keep in mind um, Libra or the Aquarius when I see the King of Swords. With a bigger karma, that's much clearer than it is definitely an Aquarius. Okay. You could be moving home. You could be going on holiday. You could be traveling for work, promotions at work or in your career. Listen to your intuitions. Like I said, open up, keeping your eyes peeled on what is coming and what is on offer. Also listen to your intuition. That's your inner uh, alarm system. And if you've closed your solar plex and your mind, then no, you won't be seeing or feeling the butterflies when you do want to fall in love. A wish is coming true or a goal is coming true. Okay, now we have the um, Knight of Wands here. And this is what it looks like the right way up. I think he's so beautiful and colorful. Um, that means news. So the news will be delayed. Okay. The, um, if you were waiting for an offer or an opportunity, as that also means an opportunity, also moving home, it will be delayed. Okay, so you have to move swiftly at the beginning of the week. Get the right advice. Move on, because this card also means moving home. So if you have bought a home or put an offer in, Get in touch with the real estate or lawyer to get these papers signed. You're making plans for the future. But you must be open to receive this news. News is coming your way, but it could be delayed. Because upside down, it means opportunity, delay of news. Okay, because he's very swift. But you're making plans, so you're waiting. But you have to also see the signs, okay, check your email box, definitely, check your phone from time to time, if, especially if you put it on the silent mode, you've got the seven of ones, you might have to defend yourself, if you've put an offer in on a house, then you might have to defend yourself in such a way, like write a letter to the seller, why you would be the best person to own that house. Not always money matters, but also the emotions that are attached to the house. And sometimes sellers are uh, very sensitive to that. You've got the legal man here. You can stand your ground. You're stronger than you think. You've got number seven. Okay. So um, you're going up from six to seven. Awesome. Seven is also a lucky number and you've got two sixes. So make sure that you watch out for signs and you've got number two, but it looks like um, one, one, the angel number 11. So definitely there is a, a doorway. The angelic is helping you. The cosmos is helping you, the divine. 
but get, seek the right advice. Okay, so you could be dealing with lawyers, get on top of them. They might be on holiday, see whether there will be a replacement or the real estate agent might be on holiday and you might have to get his replacement and get things moving. But make sure you do it with gently and slowly or positively. Get the clarity. Make sure you know all the ins and the outs before you splurt out uh, accusations. You don't want to get into legalities. Okay. And if you buy a house, get the contract um, checked out. Okay. Ah, we've got the crow here. Okay. Black is beautiful. Okay. It's the colors of the, the whole spectrum. Universal universal laws ah laws I can't read the writing universal laws and truths are now being revealed use this energy to create your reality that is a better way of saying it but that is the king of swords definitely he's legality and he's legality so the truths are coming out you've done your work or they have done your work to protect you and listen to your intuition you can open up now and be ready for the good to come in. Honestly, the good is coming your way. And the crow, he does, he's very intuitive. He's also a spiritual bird. The, the Wiccans like him, the witches, because they're so intelligent and spiritual. Okay, they're wise as well. So be wise. Stay on the straight and narrow. Get clarity. Don't create any illusions, then you won't have any disillusions. You don't have to defend yourself to family or friends. People should respect you and accept you the way you are. You only have to um, defend yourself in court and with help, with precise people that work to detail and do their jobs well. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Taurus. Take care, stay safe and be beautiful.